Welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday the 2nd of February. Presentation of Christ in the Temple, also known as Candlemas. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your Spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord and highly to be praised city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted up, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them. They writhed like a woman in labour. As when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad. Because of your judgments, O Lord, walk about Zion, go around her, count her towers, Consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that should be our guide for evermore. And so we pray, Father of lights, raise us with Christ to your eternal city that with kings and nations we may wait in the midst of your temple and see your glory for ever and ever. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness, thus says God who created the heavens. Who fashion the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, 
and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations and I have called you in righteousness. The New Testament reading this morning is from Romans. Romans 12, 1 to 5. I appeal to you therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble. Parents of Jesus marvelled at what he said about him. About, about what parents of Jesus marvelled at what was said about him, and Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her hearts. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The parents of Jesus marvelled at what was said about him. And Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Prayers for the Epiphany season. Rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That the people of God in all the world may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our own benefits in St Orville. We pray for our unity. We pray for 
for those in our worship community and in the wider community who are feeling isolated at this present moment. Pray, Lord, that they, as your people in this place at this time, open to the prompting of your Holy Spirit. We pray the Church may discover again the unity which is the Father's will. Let's pray to the Lord. That the nations of the earth may seek after the ways that make for peace. Let us pray for the Lord. Pray to the Lord. That the whole creation, groaning in travail, may be set free to enjoy the glorious liberty of the children of God. We give you thanks for the beauty of the place in which we live. And we pray for all those who care for this place, the volunteers, the National Trust, Planet Purvey, the local council and many individuals who give their time to ensure the beauty of this place is maintained and enhanced. Pray for all those who, with Christ, have entered the shadow of death. Pray they may rest in peace and rise in glory. I remember Ray at this time, and Brenda, and Neil, and Julie. Let's commend the world to which Christ showed the way to the mercy and protection. from the Church of England booklet of prayers for use during the coronavirus. We pray, gracious God, skill, sympathy and resilience to all those who are caring for the sick. We give thanks for all those who have worked successfully for a cure, creating a variety of vaccines. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work Many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect for the day. Almighty and ever living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple, in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be preserved we may, we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts. By your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.